Hey everybody, welcome back to another haul video, this time for October 2021, let's do it. Let's get started with some manga goodness, here is To Your Eternity Volume 15. I am two volumes behind, I've read up to Volume 13, a wonderful, spectacular series that I cannot recommend enough. It is beautiful, tragic, and really reminds me of just living the best possible life that you can live. No regrets, right? And here we have two volumes of one of my favorite rom-coms, Rent a Girlfriend. Here's volume eight, as well as volume nine. I have not read these yet, but I'm really excited to continue the story from where I left off. Wonderful art and just really nice character designs. That's I think that's one of the main appeals for me when it comes to a series like this. Here we have That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime, Volume 17. I'm a little behind on this series. I'm mostly collecting it out of fear of it going out of print, the individual volumes. Here we have The Ancient Magus Bride, Volume 15. Same thing with Slime. I'm a little behind. I think the last one I read was Volume 7 or 8, something like that. So I'm really behind on this. I've heard some people have mixed feelings about this and have kind of abandoned the title, which is weird. But we'll see. Eventually, I'll catch up and talk about it with you guys. Next up on the haul is Asadora from Naoki Urusawa. Here's Volume 4. Fantastic series. Check out my first impressions video on it. I can't really say much because we're pretty much one volume behind the Japanese release. I do know Volume 6 comes out at the end of the year, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, love me some Asadora and Urusawa goodness. Number 5, Volume 2 from Tayo Matsumoto. I made a video on Volume 1 if you want to check it out. I absolutely loved it. The world and the characters. It's all so unique and gritty and filled with Euro comics references and homages. I cannot recommend this series enough. I will be reading this as soon as possible and cannot wait for Volume 3, which should be out in January of next year. And, as usual, I'm very happy to see them including the uh, more posters, as you can see here, the second one, uh, looking really cool, super detailed and wacky and funky, just as I like a Matsumoto manga to be. Pokemon Adventures Collector's Edition Volume 10, the last one, finishing off uh, the stories, if you will, covering up to Fire Red and Leaf Green, and a little bittersweet to end the series there, but I do know that the next uh, generations aren't as interconnected as we would have liked, but who knows, maybe they'll do collector's editions later on for those as well, you know, Gen 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and whatever else comes out our way. Lady Snowblood, Volume 1, 2, 3, and 4, yes, all of it. I have to give a massive shout out to my good buddy Josh for making this possible. He sent me a little care package my way, and I am forever thankful. Uh, Josh has been a great friend for many for many years now, actually. So I'm excited to dig into this a very famous series. I have to admit, I have not read the manga, but I have seen and I do own the Lady Snowblood live action movies. And you might know that this is also the inspiration for uh, Kill Bill from Quentin Tarantino and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm really excited to dig into this. One graphic novel here, it is Birthright Volume 10, the end of the series. Finally, I collected the entirety of Birthright. I don't want to ruin it for you guys, but it's really cool stuff. I do recommend uh, checking it out. And here you have uh, all the spines lined up with all the trade paperbacks. Some anime Blu-ray goodness. Here is Inspector, one of my favorite anime from 2020. I really enjoyed this adaptation. Uh, I believe this was produced by uh, Crunchyroll, and it is essentially a noirish spirit yokai infused detective series solving urban legends and mysterious cases and all that stuff. I, I really enjoyed it. I think it's really good. Thankfully, we are getting a second season, so yay, more Inspector Goodness. Golden Cowboy Season 3. I love this series so much. I wish I could collect the manga, but I really don't have space for such a long-running series. Although it, it is ending, so I might consider it uh, in the near future. Nonetheless, a great show. And as a treat for you guys, here's the digital code. If you are one of the 
cool ones to grab it as soon as possible, let me know in the comment section down below so I can heart that comment. Also, another gift from my buddy Josh, he gifted me My Hero Academia Heroes Rising, the second My Hero Academia movie. I haven't seen this. I'm really excited for it. Hopefully it's better than the first one, which I did like, but it falls under the Shonen Jump movies where nothing really happens. It's just a celebration of your favorite characters with flashy movie quality animation. But hopefully this is different. And I do know the third one uh, premiered recently, so I'm excited eventually for that. And we got another treat from that care package. Here is Ultraman Taro. I, you're gonna have to forgive me. I'm not super knowledgeable when it comes to Ultraman. Like I like the character and that's about it. I didn't grow up with Ultraman, the franchise, uh, none of that stuff. Uh, but I've always been interested and I know there's multiple seasons or generations or whatever. Uh, so yeah, I'm very much looking forward to this. Who knows, maybe one day when I'm done collecting some other stuff, I'll give this a go and um, or collect the rest of the series, I should say. From Arrow, this is something that I was really excited about. We got the announcement in August and I pre-ordered and it finally arrived. It is the Yokai Monsters Collection. And this was my first time ordering from Diabolic DVD. So shout out to Diabolic because that was awesome. Arrived in perfect immaculate edition. I didn't want to go with Amazon because they were charging way more than what was uh, the retail price, I should say. And uh, yeah, went with Diabolic. Uh, I'm a fan now. So we'll see if I make more orders from them. Next, I decided to add two more DVDs for my Toho section or collection in my movie library. Here is Varan the Unbelievable, which I believe had two separate releases, one with the American edit and dub, which I don't care for, and this one with the original uh, Japanese audio. And of course, I got The Mysterians. The funny thing about these two movies is that uh, they're no longer in print, along with the other Toho stuff, but uh, even though they're old movies and not necessarily the best, but there's still campy goodness to be had. Uh, the thing is, usually people are charging or asking, I should say, $30, $40 for these movies. And I was lucky enough to find a seller asking $8 per movie. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll take them. Thank you. <laughs> so with those two out of the way, all that's left uh, to quote unquote complete my Toho set because there are a lot more movies out there that were released but not available with a North American uh, Region 1 uh, DVD or Blu-ray. I am missing Dogora, uh, War of the Gargantuas, Space Amoeba, and Orochi the Eight-Headed Dragon. So those four DVDs are all that's left to have a complete official Region 1 Toho Kaiju DVD slash Blu-ray set. Really excited about that. You guys remember back in the summer <laughs> when I did the uh, movie Arrow Criterion summer sale haul. I got a bunch of movies that I wanted to check out, some that I already knew about. And this was the only one missing. It is JSA or Joint Security Area. I ordered that in mid-July and it arrived mid-October. Uh, I ordered it from Amazon and it was uh, out of stock, I guess, or out of print. So it took them that long. So it took them all this time to restock and uh, send me my copy. But nonetheless, excited. This is a really great film and a wonderful release and I'm happy to own it. This was a birthday gift from the fam, if you will. Uh, back in September, I am a huge fan of the Snyderverse movies. But yeah, I got the Snyder Justice League uh, Blu-ray, 4K Blu-ray cut. I love it. And this is what I wanted to see back in 2017. And I'm so happy. I'm so glad that I can now have uh, Zack's uh, initial trilogy on Blu-ray with uh, Man of Steel and BVS. So I'm really excited about this. Two figures, one of them I've had pre-ordered for ages, and it finally shipped. It is my first pop-up parade. I hope I said that right, pop-up parade. It is The Traveler from Journey, one of my all-time favorite video games from PlayStation. 
And one final shout out to my buddy Josh, my first ever Nendoroid. I've always wanted to get into that. They're expensive and kind of in the same vein as a Funko Pop where you just can't have one and you get really addicted and you want a whole line of it. So I got to be careful because I do have another one uh, coming my way. It's just taking forever because it's shipped from Japan. Uh, but yeah, this is the Golden Kamui Asirpa uh, Nendoroid. I am really excited about this. I love the series and she's a great character. Really cool that she has so many face plates and uh, tiny little accessories. And it's just the right amount and size of cuteness where it just looks great on your shelf. So thank you, Josh. All right, that's about it. That's all the stuff I got in the month of October. As usual, there are things that did not arrive. If you've been following my channel over the years, this is a tradition on my haul videos. So you'll see them in the next one. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you want me to review a specific product shown here, let me know in the comments section down below, specifically the anime and manga portions. Thank you everybody. God bless, stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video. Thank you.